In today's video, I will be going over a few different methods that you can do within Windows, which will hopefully resolve the launching issues you're having with PUBG Battlegrounds. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, and you do enjoy the video and want to see more videos just like this one on how to fix problems, errors, crashes and stuff like that with other PC games, then be sure to click on that subscribe button. So the first thing that you need to do is just simply ensure that Windows is up to date. If your Windows isn't up to date, then you're going to run into issues not only with crashing problems in PUBG, but also the game not launching. So to check if your Windows is up to date, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then select settings. You now need to go ahead and select update and security and you then need to click on the check for updates button. If Windows does detect any new updates, allow Windows to install those updates, restart your computer and you can then move on to the next step, which is to ensure that you have closed down everything before launching PUBG. If you have programs open like a web browser, a music player, Discord or anything like that, it could be conflicting with PUBG, which is causing it to not launch. So ensure you have completely closed everything down and then go ahead and launch PUBG again. Once you've done that and if you're still unable to launch PUBG, the next thing that you need to do is ensure that your security software is not the problem. So go ahead and turn your security software into game mode or passive mode if it does have the option. Or you can just simply disable your security software for a short period of time and then launch PUBG and see if it launches. If it does, then you know you need to add an exception to your security software for PUBG. If you're using Windows Defender, you can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting settings. And if you now go ahead and select update and security and then click onto Windows Security and then open Windows Security, you now need to select virus and threat protection and you will then see an option for manage settings under virus and threat protection settings. You will see real time protection and you need to toggle this to off. Once you have disabled your security, just be very careful because you will not be protected from any viruses. So just quickly boot up PUBG, see if it now works and if it does, or doesn't just turn your virus protection on straight away once you get out of the game and done the test because like I said you won't be protected. So once you've done all that and if you're still unable to launch PUBG the next thing that you need to do is open up Steam. Once you have Steam open you now need to select your library and you then need to search for PUBG. You need to right click on PUBG Battlegrounds and you then need to go to manage and we now need to click on browse local files. You then need to go into TSL game folder and then binaries and then win64 and you now need to right click on TSL game.exe and go to properties and you now need to click on compatibility and then tick run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. Once you've done that go ahead and launch the game again and see if that resolved the launching issues. The next thing you need to do is right click on the taskbar and select task manager. You then need to click on startup and you now need to go through all your startup programs and disable anything you do not need to launch with Windows. So as you can see here I have Epic Games Launcher, I can go ahead and disable this because I don't need that to launch when I sign into Windows. And once you've gone through the list of your startup items you then need to open up the start menu and you now need to type in ms config and then we need to open system configuration. You then need to click onto services and you now need to tick hide all Microsoft services and you then need to do the same again. Go through all the services and just untick anything that you do not need to launch with your Windows computer. Once you've done that press apply and OK and then restart your computer and then launch PUBG again and see if it does actually allow you to go into the game and hopefully that will fix the issue as it could be a service or something that's launching with Windows that's causing the game to not launch. If that didn't help then the next thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below to download and install the latest version of DirectX. Once you've clicked the link 
You now need to click on to download and select your language. You then need to go save file and you now need to run the setup file. You now need to agree to the terms. If you do, click on I accept and then next. And you can then choose if you want to install the Bing bar. I don't want to install this and then press next. And it will now see if there are any new files available for DirectX. And as you can see, I do have the latest version, which is absolutely fine. I can go ahead and press finish. So if it did detect a newer version of DirectX, then allow it to install, restart your computer, and then see if that helped. If that didn't, then the next thing you need to do is click on the next link that's in the description below to download Microsoft Visual C++ 2015. So you will now end up on a page that looks like this. You again need to select your language and then press download. And you then need to select 64 because you need to have a 64-bit version of Windows to play PUBG. If you don't, then that would be the reason why you're unable to play the game. So I'm going to go ahead now and select 64 and then next. You then need to go save file and you now need to run the setup file. You then need to agree to the terms. If you do, tick I agree and then press install. If you do already have the version installed on your computer like I do, you can see it says that another version of this product is already installed. So that means I do not need to install this. If you're still unable to launch PUBG on your computer, then the next thing you need to do is just ensure you do not have any overclock settings enabled. So make sure you have an overclock your graphics card, your RAM or your processor. And if you have, then remove those overclock settings and then try launching PUBG. If you can't remove the overclock settings or you're unsure how, then you will have to unfortunately move on to the next method and hopefully that will help. And that is to open up the start menu and you then need to type in CMD and you now need to right click on command prompt and go run as administrator. You now need to type in SFC space forward slash and then scan now and then press enter. And this is going to ensure that none of your Windows system files have become corrupt or missing. If it does detect an issue, then it will repair those files and it will let you know at the end of the scan if it did repair any files. If it did, then restart your computer and then again try and launch PUBG and see if that was the issue. If that wasn't, then the next thing you need to do is open up Steam. Once you have Steam open, you now need to select your library again and we then need to search for PUBG. You now need to right click on PUBG Battlegrounds and then click onto Properties. And you then need to select Local Files. And you now need to click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. And this is going to ensure that none of the PUBG files have become corrupt or missing. If it does detect an issue with the files, then it will repair them and then you can go ahead and launch PUBG and hopefully that will allow you to get into the game. If PUBG still won't launch on your computer, then you might unfortunately have to uninstall the game and then install it again. And if you're still unable to launch PUBG, then it could be something else within Windows that's causing the issue. So I would suggest maybe creating a new user account and then see if that works. If it doesn't, then the next easiest thing would be to probably reset Windows. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. Like I said at the start of the video, if you want to see more videos like this on how to resolve issues with games, then hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, then hit the like button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.